All right, y'all, we made it. Uh, part eight, the final part, the final part of your test review. Um, if you got this far, I'll tell you what, you should be feeling really prepared for this test if you understand what's going on. Um, if not, you know, don't be afraid to come and ask questions. Like, I am not that scary. Come in and ask me some questions. I'll totally help you do some math. Um, I know, and I speak to this a lot in certain classes, but um, never feel ashamed to get the help you need or admit that you don't quite know what's going on. It might be a new experience for you, but it's a really good one. So please make sure that you're coming and seeing me or seeing someone for help if you absolutely need it, okay? Uh, so this last construction, a line of symmetry for the figure below. Now remember, there's a, there's a synonymous way you can say this. Like if I ask you for a, a construction that maps a figure onto itself, I'm asking for the same thing. I'm asking for a line that can cut this guy in half. Now we actually did this exactly for the warm-up. Um, so I'm just going to kind of arbitrarily pick one here. Um, I think I want to draw this line. Now, if I'm going to draw that line, that means the the structure I'm actually calling up is an isosceles triangle. I'm actually drawing this over the top of it. Because, um, again, we have this feature in isosceles triangles, um, which this altitude cuts the base in half and at a right angle. Um, so if I can if I can make, make this structure, whoop, in my picture on the right, I'm totally in business. Um, so if you think about how I can do that, I need to kind of superimpose it, which means the first thing I have to do is pick some points. So let me, boom, kick that right there. So it looks like I do need to identify three points, a one, two, three, two of which I think are really easy. I'm gonna make it easier myself and just pick the bottom one. Um, so the that should be, that's done, that's ready to go. And I only have my bottom piece. Now I just gotta pick my top angle or top point, excuse me, this guy in green, um, which I don't have anywhere just kind of randomly pick it. But again, if I observe that these guys right here um, are the same because the whole thing is isosceles, same distance means same circle, uh, which means I got to use a circle, man. Okay. So if I use the same circle here as I do here, I can totally find that top piece. And I'll take the same kind of tactic here on my hexagon. Uh, I'll just use a circle here. I'm gonna actually gonna cheat and clone it, uh, but you can use a compass to make a second one, right? Um, and then center it over the right-hand one using the same exact circle in both. I should be able to locate my top point, and I just did uh, because it's an intersection. Um, but at the same time, I'll point out that I found a bottom point too, which allows me to create my line of symmetry, or if you're feeling crazy, uh, the line that maps this figure onto itself um, that folds it onto itself from left to right. So that's the line I'm talking about. If I were to take this hexagon, fold it in half, it'd be right onto itself. There's the line of symmetry. Now, is that the only one you could find? No, there's actually tons, but this is the one that I wanted to use. Okay? And again, if you go back to the structure, um, what I did use is isosceles triangle. Uh, so you're going to find this to be an actual very similar argument for the triangle. In fact, it turns out to be the exact same argument for the triangle. Um, so I'm just going to do the easy thing. I'm just going to copy and paste, um, which is not so much me being lazy, but me trying to emphasize that just because I have a new thing here doesn't mean I have to use uh, a new idea. I can recall what I've done in the previous steps, um, and I can repeat it. Um, now, of course, some things do have to change. Um, back this up a little bit. To find these points, of course, I'm going to take the, I can't just kind of randomly pick a point in the middle. I need to pick a point out to the side. This is a, um, but again, it's, it's again using kind of this double circle idea. So bring a circle out. Use the same circle, but center it over my right hand uh, point. And now these two points should line up really well. Oops. And I should be able to find a line that goes right down the middle. So if I take this triangle and I fold it along the green dotted line, it should fold onto itself, map onto itself, or just be a general line of symmetry. Um, so let's move on to the bottom one. Well, lo and behold, I get to do the same thing here. Um, now, I could be fancy and draw a line through the middle, uh, or I could kind of stay with the same and draw a line through here. 
Um, because I did an isosceles triangle twice, let's go ahead and mix it up. Tell you what, the line of symmetry I want to draw is going to be this guy right here, right through the middle. Um, so again, using a compass and straight edge, I can't just draw that in because I don't know if it's going to be the way I want. Um, so let's focus on this. If I'm, if I'm cutting this angle in half, that means it's an angle bisector, which really amounts to me using a kite. Okay? Now, could you use the isosceles triangles from above? Yeah, you totally could. Um, but what we're going to do, because I want to be a little different and maybe give you guys some variety, I want to use a kite. Um, so again, the, per the thing about kites we're focusing on this particular round um, is the idea that the line I'm currently drawing cuts the angles in half, so it cuts this guy in half. So if I can construct a kite, I can find an angle bisector, and then I can construct this green line. So you'll see this guy here again in a second. Um, so no surprise, we're about to talk about points, guys. Isn't that surprising? It's all about points. It's always all about points. It will always be about points. In fact, if you want to think about what we're going to do in the next section, the next dude after the test, guess what? It's about points. Um, in fact, this one, we're going to need one, two, three, four of them. Uh, now, one is really easy. So, uh, again, let me recolor code bright blue. This point right here shall be that point right there. Uh, let's talk about the two blue ones. Wow, why did this turn out so small? Burrow, burrow. Okay. So, let's talk about these two blue points, finding the kites on here. Um, they are equally spaced, if you kind of look at these being the same length. Equally spaced means equal sized circles. So I'm going to take a circle and cut it there. And so now I just need to kind of replicate the same thing on my square. So I'm just going to draw a line out. Like I don't need to get excessive and draw it crazy. I just need two equally spaced points. I accomplished that, so let me mark them for you. Bada bing and bada boom. And now the last thing is we got to find this last purple point. Uh, but again, notice that there there are two equal distances. Equal distances again amount to equal circles. So like I can use this circle here and this circle here. They should be the same. I'm going to erase them because it's getting kind of messy. Um, but I can use the same tactic. So let's bring a Bring a circle out to here, okay, and then bring a circle out to here. Oh, kind of bounce around. Anyway, and so, man, what's going on? Stop. Okay, so these two circles are like defining this last point. Uh, so let's mark it to be such. And just like I promised, the return of the green line, I now have a direction to send it. And no, no surprise, it goes to this corner as well. Um, and again, I hope you can maybe locate the kite that I've been battling on about right here. Okay, so if I can draw the kite, I can draw the bisector, and there you have it, okay? So uh, a lot going on here, guys, uh, but you do have a week here to study and make sure you get the help you need. So please don't be afraid to do it. Um, if you have any questions, you know, email me, talk to me in class, catch me before school, after school, whatever you need. Uh, and guys, that's it. Let's continue. I'll see you guys later.